Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome as we gather, gather but isolated for Sunday Mass. And for visitors to our site today, a very warm welcome to you and we trust that in our worship you will meet the risen Christ. Today here we share the Mass and if you stay on our site, our virtual church page, you will find a podcast of today's sermon and other resources to help you think about your faith and the way faith and life intersect. Today on this Sunday, we reach ordinary time in the church calendar. We've been through a whole lot of celebrations and festivals, and now we sink into this long stretch of what's called ordinary time. If time ever is or can be really ordinary, and it certainly hasn't been very ordinary recently. But in this ordinary time that stretches over the coming months, we will see time and again that God breaks into our ordinary lives and comes to us in extraordinary ways. We're going to hear the stories of Jesus and we're going to hear how the compassionate, loving God is revealed to us. Well, today in our Gospel, Jesus calls disciples to follow him. He calls a motley bunch of pretty, uneducated, ordinary people to not only follow him, but to do what he does, to heal the sick, to come to people with the news that they are loved and that God's kingdom has come near. So welcome once again. Let us now worship God together. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. The Lord be with you. You are also with you. The sentence for this day. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. Let us join together in the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, 
our Maker and our Judge. We have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful God, in Jesus Christ you turn death into life and defeat into victory. Increase our faith and trust in him that we may triumph over evil. In the strength of the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. We will now have the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 19. The Israelites had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, and you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one, everything that the Lord has spoken we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God.
chapter 9, beginning at verse 35. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. For the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now pray for the world and for the church. We begin with a prayer based on the Litany of Reconciliation, which is prayed daily at Coventry Cathedral in England. It was written after the bombing of the medieval cathedral in 1940. The words and petitions, I feel, fit very well with the cries of the Black Lives Matter movement around the world today, and also the situation of our First Nations people here in Australia. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Forgive us for the hatred which divides nation from nation, race from race, class from class. Forgive us for the covetous desires of people and nations to possess what is not their own. Father, forgive us for the greed which exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, Forgive us for our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the unemployed, and the refugee. Father, forgive us for the pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. May we be kind to one another tender-hearted and forgiving one another as God in Christ forgives us. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for the church that leaders may be enlightened and strengthened to respond to the injustice we see in the world. May each one of us see how we can serve each other and the church and so bring your light to shine in this dark world. 
We pray that soon we may meet together in community and work together to help the poor, the homeless, and the refugee. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Healing Lord, we bring to you those who are sick in mind, body, or any other adversity. We pray for the lonely, the anxious, and isolated. We bring to you those who have asked for our prayers. Madeline, Arthur, Elizabeth, Sister Gloria, Jim, and Roz, and those known to us. May they all know your healing presence and love that surrounds us all. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the faithful departed, and we thank you for the saints who have gone before us, and pray that the lives of St. Barnabas, Apostle and Martyr, St. Anthony of Padua, missionary and preacher, and their intercessions for us, may inspire us to preach your word in all that we do, so that your glory might be known to the end of time. Amen. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, we are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer. 
which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give us thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained that eternal deliverance for his people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine. And we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. <coughs> Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup, his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, 
have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. In this time when we are unable to physically receive the sacrament, to share bread and wine, will you join me in the prayer for spiritual communion on the screen? Let us pray. Loving God, in this holy meal, you fill us with new hope. May the power of your love, which we have known in word and sacrament, continue your saving work among us. Give us courage for our pilgrimage and bring us to the joys you promise. Most loving God, you send us into the world you love. Give us grace to go thankfully and with courage in the power of your Spirit. Friends, the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Oh,